Hello everybody, hi friends and family. My name is Elise and I want to talk to you today about anglerfish. Now anglerfish are super, super awesome fish that live down in the deep dark ocean. So everything uh, that's a part of your worst nightmares basically is an anglerfish. Yeah, so let's get into it today. Let's do it. <laughs> I always tell people the story of anglerfish and basically how they mate because I think like in my personal opinion that that is the coolest thing about them um, and whenever I tell people the story of anglerfish and their relationships with one another uh, first of all they gasp <clears throat> and then they kind of stop and they think about it and then they nod and they're like wait I can relate looks at spouse um, so let me know down in the comment section if you can relate to a deep sea fish that has a huge glowing light coming out between its eyes and big teeth. Um, if you can relate, let me know. I mean, you might have a friend out there somewhere, but let's get into this video over here. So first of all, anglerfish. If you've never heard of an anglerfish, maybe you've seen one in the movie Finding Nemo. It's that huge scary thing that tried to eat Marlin in one scene of the film there. It has huge, huge teeth and a bioluminescent projection coming out between the eyes. So bioluminescent, just to break that down, it basically means that they make their own light. Bio meaning living, luminous meaning light. So this animal here is going to go ahead and use its lure, which is right between the eyes, to go ahead and lure in fish from near and far, because everywhere else around it is pitch black darkness. Pretty awesome, right? So this huge flabby thing with the light and teeth is actually a female. This is the female swimming around down there in the ocean. And basically the female will let off pheromones, it'll let off nice smelling chemicals to let the males know where she is. So the male anglerfish is actually a lot different than the female is. The female is going to be about this big maybe with the teeth and the light. Well, the male is going to be about this big. It's going to be a super, super tiny thing swimming around down there. Uh, it has no defenses. It doesn't really have teeth to bite things off. Uh, it doesn't really have any way of fishing for itself, of getting its own food. So what the male anglerfish does is it's going to go ahead and bite on to the female anglerfish. Weird, right? He'll come up and he'll bite onto her back somewhere and he'll start feeding off her bloodstream. And that's how he gets his nutrients and that's also how he's going to protect himself down there in the deep dark ocean with no other defenses to himself. So when the female is going to go ahead and lay her eggs, the male just lays sperm right on top. And that's how you create little baby anglerfish out there in the ocean. Weird, right? But the weirder thing is that there may not just be one male per female. There may be six or seven males per female. So if you can imagine this little girl, not little girl maybe, this mature womanly fish swimming around in the ocean with six or seven little tiny appendages swimming alongside it, basically feeding off her bloodstream while she goes out and does all the hunting and gathering and fends for all eight of them. Yeah, pretty weird story, right? Well, the part that most people can relate to is being the female anglerfish, being as this one entity that's having a bunch of other people suck the life out of her, quite literally. If you relate to the female anglerfish, then something is not right. You know, you want to make sure you stick up for yourself out there. Uh, God did not make us to um, be like anglerfish. We made us two different types of things out there. Um, if you can relate to the male anglerfish where you are just the one sucking the life out of somebody else, stop! <laughs> Make sure you're not taking any part of this story to heart and that you're kind of realizing, okay, God made us differently than these deep sea fish um, because he loves us so much more. So that was your fun story for today. It was a little about, about anglerfish. If you have any questions about this story or would like some follow up on this or any other deep sea creatures, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to respond to you. Have a great day. Bye.